Welcome back to Anarchy in the Ukulele. Katie here again with another review. And today we've got this snail baritone ukulele. Um, now this is the snail SUB-M1 laminated mahogany ukulele. Um, and a couple of things to tell you about this. One, one is, so we got this from the Southern Ukulele store. Um, such a great ukulele store. Um, we, we've used them an awful lot. And we really like the way the instruments come out to us. And when we have had a, a couple of minor issues, which you know, weren't anything to do with them really, um, they've sorted it straight out for us. So really, really good store, that one. The reason I mention it is because this instrument, they restring it. So um, I believe that Snail actually string it in normal ukulele tuning. Um, and Southern Ukulele string it for baritone tuning, which is the low D, uh, G, B and E. Um, so the same as the top four strings of a guitar. And in my mind, that's where a, a baritone ukulele should be strung, but, um, you know, horses for courses. Um, but they do restring it, so it has a different set of strings on. So, yeah, I mention it because if you buy this from somewhere else, it may not come strung like this. So I think that's quite an important thing to say about this review. Um, I'll go through what strings they, they use later on when I've checked my notes. And, um, yeah, so it is a laminated mahogany top, sides and back. Um, mahogany neck, I believe. And really nicely finished. Really nicely finished. It's almost got sort of an orangey sort of koa acacia tint to it, but it is mahogany. And there's quite quite a bit of sort of grain coming through. Um, and sort of the spaltedness coming through, which you don't always get on mahogany. So it kind of does look a little bit, um, a little bit koa-ish, I think, which is quite nice. I think uh, it's, it's it's fairly plain. You've got an abalone inlay there, which I, I think may be a transfer. Um, I can't really tell. It, it may be an inlay, um, but pretty basic. There's there's not really any other decoration on there apart from that. Um, and I quite like that for a, for a cheaper instrument because this is um, an entry level baritone. Really, it's around about the hundred and forty to hundred and fifty pound mark, and um, which class and baritone classifies it as an entry level instrument. I think, and I think sometimes if they're over decorated at those price points, the decoration isn't done quite as well and things like that, and it cheapens it. Whereas this, I think, looks really classy. So I really like the look of it. Um, it's got ebony fingerboard, uh, ebony bridge. Um, the nut is 35 mil. Um, so pretty standard sizing on the nut. Uh, again, feels comfortable to me. It, I guess it is on the thin size, but it, it depends on the instrument I've, I'm finding, you know. Um, it feels pretty comfortable to play. I've got a Carla baritone with a, a much wider nut, and um, after playing this for a while, I kind of struggled for a few minutes going back to the Carla. So I think it's it's whatever you're used to. Um, fairly so. You got the snail logo on the headstock. Shut that down here. Um, which I quite like the snail logo. I, I, with this one, I half wish that they just have the logo and not the not the wording across the top um which i think does cheapen it slightly in my opinion whereas i think some of the um snail ukuleles now do just have the logo and slightly smaller and i think it looks a little bit more classy but um minor 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 details there for a ukulele of this price um so yeah baritone ukuleles well why have a baritone I, in my opinion, it again, it depends what what, what you're doing. Um, I've been playing a lot of tenor ukuleles, and I love the tenor ukulele. And then um, this baritone, it's it's nice to play things where you want that low low D or the low string on there, sort of slightly more classical sounding. It sounds sort of nylon guitarish. Um, but obviously, you know, if you can play the ukulele, yes, you're, you're playing in a different key, but you're still playing the same chord shapes. So um, it just adds something a little bit different. I think if you're playing in groups, it's really nice to have a baritone ukulele in your group because you're just adding in a lower end that isn't there on the other ukuleles. Um, 
And I think, you know, the, the groups that I've heard where you've got a U bass, a baritone, a tenor, and then a concert or soprano, um, you get this sort of full spectrum sound and it, that's really nice. And I think it opens up the ukulele to more people having that sound as well. Um, so I really like that. Um, so what else have we got to say? So ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, 35 mil nut. So the tuners, um, snail branded tuners. Um, what is there to say about them? They're fine. They do the job. Um, the tension that seems a little bit mixed between them, which if you're going from one to another throws you a little bit if you're, if you're trying to tune quickly. Um, but I can tighten those up. So, you know, that's something that you could do something about. But as it's come, that, that just feels a little bit off. Um, let's give it a play. Let's see what it sounds like. play it slightly better but um but yeah it's um finger picking it's really nice it's a really nice instrument these these top two strings the nylon strings i really like there's something about the tension of them's just right for me um whether that's the strings that the southern ukulele store have put on um i mean i'm guessing it is really um really nice again i'll, I'll have a look what those are in a second strumming wise uh, <laughs> It's so hot in here that it, it's we're going out of tune. It's um, we are in the middle of a heat wave. I think it's about 37 degrees outside, and probably a lot hotter in here. So it's going out of tune quite quickly. So we'll give it a little tune in a second. Um, so yeah, really nice instrument. Um, a great price. You get a gig bag, a snail gig bag, um, fairly standard. Nothing too much to write home about there. Let's have a look. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right for, I guess, the price of the instrument. Um, I think with all of these gig bags, there, it really puts me in, in two minds. They're nice to have, but I don't use any of them. Even even the more expensive ones, I like. I like a hard case if it's a more expensive ukulele. Um, so I guess, you know, it's slightly questionable on, on those. Would I prefer it to be a little bit cheaper and buy a hard case? Yeah, possibly, but I guess other people would want the gig bag, so there you go. But a little bit of padding, but not, not loads. Um, yeah, so all in all, a really nice baritone ukulele, a great instrument to get you into it. I had strap buttons added onto this one. Uh, they don't come as standard. Um, but nice to have on there. We've got side dots at the 5th, 7th, 10th and 12th and the 13th. Um, it's down the side there and dots on the front as well. Again, pretty standard stuff. All looks very nice inside, nicely put together. I mean, it, it is, it's a £150 instrument. Um, but I think it's pretty good. Sound-wise, I really like it. And again, this is another instrument that I've kind of taken home a lot and sat noodling on. And it's soft, it's got, again, a mellow. But you can get both tones. You can get whatever you're playing with your thumb, it's quite mellow. It's got that little little edge to it. So I think really nice that it's quite a quiet instrument compared to my Carla baritone It's a little bit quieter. Um, again, I quite like that um, 
depends what you want to do with it, I guess. But I think, you know, if you bought this, you would not be disappointed with it. Um, I think, you know, for the price, it's really good. It's it's hitting above its weight at the price range. Um, you know, I've got a baritone that costs around about the 500 to £550 pound mark. And dare I say it, I'm preferring this one at the minute. Um, so, you know, purely going on the instrument, ignoring the price, it's a really nice instrument. Um, but yeah, so really nice. Let's check a couple of stats for you. I'm just going to have a quick check on my professional presentation style here. So, laminate mahogany body, 35mm nut width, high gloss finish, closed back geared tuners, um, baritone, 20.75 scale length, three padded snail gib bag. So this comes with Didario uh, fitted strings, and that's the DGBE. And they are, if you want to know what they are, EJ65B strings. Ebony fretboard, ebony bridge. Yeah, really nice instrument from Snail. Snail, you know, a manufacturer that I think I'm, I'm going to like a lot of, actually, because the Snail instruments that I've played so far um i've been really really impressed with um similar sort of manufacture to flight in a way in their sort of where they're where they're positioned in the market um but a really you know pulling out instruments of really good good quality um that are above the price points that they're charging for them so that's really nice to see so yeah snail well done um, a lovely instrument, really nice to play, really good price. So if you want to get into baritone, I don't think you can really go wrong with having a try on one of these. So uh, if you like what we do, as always, like, subscribe and ring the bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.